Yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. I believe we are rolling now. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it does have a time. Uh, oh, it counts down a time. All right. Anywho. Well, here we are. Here we are. Uh, so, uh, hey guys. Uh, this is Matt Spinks and uh, Lynn Spinks from the Firehouse Projects here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Fort Wack, and uh, we wanted to do a little uh, monastery. Uh, vision video. Um, the monastery is something we've done for years in Fort Wayne, um, but we uh, we shut down a couple years ago uh, just to focus on some other things and uh, uh, honestly to look for a, a new property and some some uh, and to kind of restructure. And so we just wanted to share our heart and put an invitation out yeah. because we are looking to open up a, a new community living. Uh, situation which we call the monastery um, aka like a discipleship community um, just a house where you can be whacked all the time and be encouraged in Jesus and and grow in grace um, and so yeah we're looking to open that again uh, before the end of the year and preferably we're shooting for June um, that depends on a number of factors including which of you respond and want to join us and uh, and the property that the lo the Lord opens up here in Fort Wayne and uh, so, yeah, uh, Lynn and I will be uh, will be kind of heading that up uh, along with our wives, and uh, uh, we're excited about that. So I don't know if you want to share a little of your heart. But, For me, uh, it's like a grand reopening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mono is so valuable to me and my wife and family. But it's just such a beautiful vision. And we see like God is doing stuff through that, We're creating a sacred space yes. for us to come and enter into His rest. And we're inviting people because I had to learn. We have to learn what it means to just play, walk this out practically. Mm -hmm. How to live out of a place of rest and wow. peace. And so, whoa, as part of you know what our piece of this body, this gospel is, is you know for us to just reopen a monastery it's more like a community hub in one way but it's a deep spiritual plant here in fort wayne wow that has been such an important hub for our community and uh, we're preaching and trying to model this around the world for community glory yeah. community so our vision is empowering glory community come on and for us on. it starts at least for me it started with being able to come into contemplative sacred space and sanctuary and Wow, learn how to just yeah. be blowed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're you know it's been awesome. We've been we've been uh, doing this type of thing for uh, for over a decade here in Fort Wayne, and yeah. you know we have friends that have moved close to each other. We have some friends that have moved into each other's homes, and so we've been doing it. And some of you are are doing that, and uh, but we believe that um, you know that uh, on earth as it is in heaven, that that close communion that the Father, the Son, and Spirit are experiencing. Uh, can be lived out. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, have a good time at a meeting or a conference, but but there comes a point where you're, you know, you want to see it just affect daily life, and and that can happen, you know, just in your own home or in lots of different ways. But another way is kind of the historic uh, concept of a monastery, um, uh, not exactly like the way it's, you've seen it done. You know, uh, ours is pretty crazy, you know, drunk, and we're just having a lot of fun doing it, you know, not taking ourselves too seriously. Um, but on the other hand, we want to open up a, a, a place um, on this replant that's a little different than what we've done before in that, you know, we want to have more intentional prayer times together, worship. We're going to have mentoring and teaching sessions. Yes, yes, and uh, yes. there's also going to be an application process mm -hmm. uh, to become a long-term member of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've had times where we were just accepting anybody. And sometimes we'd show up and people would be sleeping on the couch we didn't even know, you know. <laughs> and there's an amazing time for that. Um, but we're kind of just uh, wanting to establish something that can become a safe place for, uh, for anyone to kind of come and recover from the world in a sense and get uh the gospel rooted and planted detox. and then yeah you know a little a religious detox you know um and then if they go out from there that's great but some will yeah. live uh for years to come and we want to provide uh a common uh area a common space a common living center eventually we hope to have something a bit more like a retreat center with multiple uh you know buildings on the property yeah um, but we're, so we're kind of putting down roots for that now, 
um, and we'll probably get you know a larger house to start out with or maybe something with a couple of buildings on it uh, and then uh, you know just have the times of prayer together uh, be mentored by the house parents which is right now it's the you know the four of us uh, and you know if you've been impacted by your ministry or your life and you mm-hmm. want to go deeper in that that's great and uh, we realize we're not the only thing that's going on. Um, there's lots of ways to grow in grace, but uh, we want to invite you to come. If that's something you feel on your heart to get a hold of us, to contact us through Facebook or uh, info at thefirehouseprojects.com. You can email that address. Or um, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, we're looking for friends. We're looking for partners. We're looking for lovers. We're looking for family, people that God sends to us. You know, we're learning so much to read. You know, we're redoing a little bit because we're learning that we're not trying to create like a rehab center. We're not ready to do that yet. We're not a homeless shelter. We're literally like uh, the monastic style of a contemplative life, a mono where we're calling in those that God sends us. Yeah, pioneers. You pioneers. Know. You're in a pioneer so, glory community. Yeah, so we're looking for, <laughs> we invite friends, come and stay, come and try it out even. You know, we'll look at the idea of trying it out or testing. That's some short term, you can come and stay and check it out. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. But yeah, but we're really looking, you know, uh, right now, if, if you're interested in trying this out for a long term session, you know, uh, a year or a couple of years, you want to you wanna give to that, that's, that's what we're kind of looking for now. Um, especially, and then of course we'll always, you know, welcome visitors and, and that. Um, but, uh, you know, those that really just want to, you know, get whacked and uh, yeah. sit in gospel teaching, um, have times of worship and prayer throughout the day, kind of create a little monastic, uh, you know, order or monastic, uh, you know, they have their different readings and prayer times during the day and stuff like that. That excites me. That's what's yeah. on my heart, you know. Yeah. If you want to go into the monk cave for a couple of years and soak, yes. you know, mm. uh, and then, you know, um, mm. we'll develop it, that in, in many different ways. But, uh, you know, families are welcome, males, females, wherever uh, you've come from, your background, uh, you know, we're open to that. Um, just contact us and then we'll, you know, if you're really interested, we can begin a, an application uh, session with you. And uh, we're not going to accept everybody. Um, there will be some that, you know, we're going to ask Holy Spirit and say, you know, hey, uh, maybe this isn't what you're looking for because what we've learned in the last few years is that uh, we have a specific vision that may not fit with everybody and that's okay. Um, so, but uh, yeah, uh, either way, you know, always welcome to come and visit in Fort Wayne or yes. come and move here and get an apartment yes. or hang out. Um, but uh, we're also going to be doing this amazing intentional thing yeah. that we've called the monastery uh, at yeah. the firehouse, so we're excited. So yeah, we're sharing the vision. We're saying, come and be with us if you want to share this vision, or if, you, if you do share this vision, if you see it, you want to invest in it, you want to be a part of it, you want to come play, come join us, come be with us. Yeah. Let's do it together. Papa's doing some yeah. stuff. Dude. We're going to see this stuff go out to the ends awesome. of the earth, new models of life together. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and I uh, look forward to hearing from those of you that are interested. Yeah. In Jesus' name, be blessed today.